The next patient is 64-year-old man uh, with non-alcoholic liver cirrhosis, cirrhosis complicated with uh, multiple episodes of uh, bleeding from esophageal varices. Uh, since 2011. The last episode was two months ago. He has no encephalopathy and uh, he has a history of rectal cancer operated in 2007 with uh, neoadjuvant radio and adjuvant chem chemotherapy. Uh, the angio MRI uh, confirmed a uh, good permeability of portal vein and hepatic artery and uh, there is probable vascular etiology of cirrhosis uh, because of sinusoidal occlusion post chemotherapy. So he is scheduled today for transjugular intrahepatic portal systemic shunt, which will be performed by Arnaud Lemers and Thierry Gusto. Hi. Good morning, everybody. Hi. Good, morning. Uh, Good morning. So I have the pleasure to work with Thierry Gusto, uh, which is responsible for the transplantation unit in our hospital. We have Christina and Miss Lee and uh, Mark for the X-ray. So you have already heard about the story of the patient. So we already uh, had the jugular access. It's the same as a central line catheter or transjugular liver biopsy. And now, if you see on the X-ray, we are with uh, this introducer in the right hepatic vein. If you see, we have a long catheter, a black one, uh, in which we have this uh, needle. And on the needle, there is an arrow that can uh, give you the orientation of the puncture that you will do. And uh, in this uh, uh, needle, we have a very thin catheter and in the catheter, we have a very thin needle. So we have four instruments, one in the other ones. So um, now I will insert uh, the, the device in uh, the, the gain here, in the sheet, and uh, we'll do a puncture in the liver. When I'm quite confident, I will do the puncture, and I can orientate the puncture with my hand here. So here I will go for the puncture. So atrophic cirrhotic liver are very hard in general. Here it's not so hard. Then what we do is to aspirate till the time we obtain some very reddish blood. So you can focus on my hands here. And when uh, we obtain the blood, can it the means camera focus on the hand? The camera zoom onto your hand so we can't see the syringe very well. So I'm just pulling slowly, 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 aspirating to see if I obtain some blood. Yeah. Here I have some blood, but uh, it will not be the portal system in this position. So we can do sometimes many puncture to obtain the portography. So I will change a little bit the orientation of my puncture. Coming a bit more in the anterior position. And again doing the same job. To aspirate. I have a good flow and we can differentiate the portal blood which is more reddish compared to uh, the venous blood which is more dark. So you have seen now that I have some blood in the syringe uh, and I changed my mind to try to do a puncture in the left and you can see on the x-ray and I need to inject a lot that we are in the left branch here. So I will ask the Terimo uh, guide wire. So now we, we know that we are in the portal system. I need to catheterize it to go to uh, the main portal vein. So I'm just searching the good way. So it's a question of feeling with the guide wire. Uh, we need to have no resistance. That's and right. to have uh, the picture of the direction of the guide while you're going uh, in the direction okay. we 
we think of the port alvein. So we just need to change a little bit the puncture, uh, and we obtain a very good flow. And I will show you that uh, I advance a little bit after having done categorization with the Terumo guide wire, that now we uh, can confirm the localization, and we are here with the catheter in the main portal trunk, and we, the entrance is just at the bifurcation. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll change for the amplot guide wire, it's more rigid to be able to uh, pass a dilation balloon afterwards, to dilate the portal wall and then the hepatic wall. Uh, and this uh, imprint on the balloon will give us the size of the tips we need uh, to put in this patient. Now you have seen that I was advancing the dilation balloon on the guide wire. So the distal end of the balloon is in the portal vein, the main portal vein and the proximal part is in the liver, into the tract I have created. Um, so we can inflate. So you see here the ring on the balloon corresponds to the portal wall. It's quite hard, it's the entrance of the portal vein in the liver, and we will inflate it to make yeah. that disappear. Okay, so the, the tips we are placing nowadays are um, partially covered stents. It means that uh, the, the part of the stent that will be inserted in the parenchyma is covered by PTFE, and there is a two centimeter distal part of the stent that is free of covering to avoid to cover uh, other branch, left branch or right branch. And now uh, the company has developed a new uh, stent uh, since more than one year to be able to to fix the caliber without any uh, spontaneous expansion. Can you see that here? So the white part of the stent is the covered part and the non-white part, the metallic part, is the non-covered part. And it's very important to have this plastic uh, sheet around the stent and to push it through into uh, the sheet that is in the patient to avoid the spontaneous opening of this part. The other part will be opened only when we will remove uh, the thread. So I will push the plastic sheet into uh, the other one and push the stent in the sheet. All right. So you see the contrast going out of the large catheter, and you see that the stain is coming out. So you see the spontaneous opening of the distal part of the stain. So I'm coming back with the sheet here, and then I will pull back the, the stain and the catheter till I'm just feeling a resistance, which will mean that I will be in contact with the portal wall. And when I will be satisfied, like here, I have a resistance that it's the same anatomy that the one we have uh, seen by injection and dilation, we can pull on this uh, little thread to release the stent. So let's go, you can release the stent. Okay, now it's fully deployed. Okay. So we have to move that and come back with the catheter for the portography and then to measure the pressures. Okay, Arnaud, congratulations for this very nice job.